Hey hey guys, Fifa Vic here with episode 7 of my Leeds United manager mode career. We are looking at the league table, we are in second place at the moment, three points behind Middlesbrough with Wigan, QPR and Brighton just behind us by a couple of points as well. The transfer window is open, it is January, the January sales have begun. We've got a couple of strikers up for sale, Varney is refusing to sign another contract with us, he's letting his contract run down I believe and uh, we can't seem to sell him on the transfer market. Two players were highly recommended by you guys in the comments. Two strikers, Dungu and Martial, who is a player at Monaco. Dungu is a player at Barcelona B. Both uh, red-hot, high-potential young strikers. So I'm going to put an offer in for both of these guys. And uh, we'll just see if we can afford either. We've got about a million quid to spend uh, due to the selling of strikers that we weren't using at the club. A sincere apologies about uh, Pullion. He's a striker that a lot of you Leeds fans were telling me that uh, I should hold on to and you did actually like him in real life and he's pretty good in game and he scores more goals than he should. It's all... I totally, totally take on board what you were saying. Um, a, I sort of sold him before I read those comments, unfortunately. And B, it's a brutal, brutal game and I am really strapped for cash. And there's just no way if we get promoted into the Premier League, he is going to be someone that is going to get into our team. We just There's just no way I can have you know, a 60-rated striker in the Premier League, unfortunately. So that was my dilemma. I'm going to have to get a guy... One of these two guys, hopefully, that have been suggested and see if, you know, they've got the potential to very quickly become Premiership standard, you know, over the rest of this season and the halfway through the next one. If we get promoted, that is, of course. We get a message back from Monaco saying they want slightly too much m money for uh, Martial. And uh, Dongu looks the business to me, and he, they will let him go for around 800k, which is a nice price. So it looks like we're going to make a move on Dongu, the Barcelona B striker. Really pacey, loads of potential. I think he's only about 18 as well. So we're going to try and pick him up. I think we're now in contract talks with him. The price has been agreed. We lost the previous game, as you could see in the footage, we lost the previous game to Burnley, who are a very, very, very good side. But uh, we are back in action here, and a superb goal from our first signing that we made when we started this career mode. Uh, Sarabia, the Spanish uh, winger, who slots into our team, lovely, uh, scoring a quality, quality goal. McCormack a bit unlucky to not follow it up. Blackpool, again, another decent side, obviously... Um, very, very highly rated player in INS at uh, Blackpool, who everyone is looking at. But we finally d guarantee the win with Smith coming off the bench again and doing the business for us. Uh, if you can hear an annoying little noise in the background, it is my cat making another appearance in this video. I'm going to try and get rid of the cat now. I have managed to evacuate the cat from the video. Guys, uh, she has gone running away now. So we are on the verge of signing uh, Dungu. We just need to accept the offer. Everything has gone through. I am proper, proper skint now. But I have managed to sign a striker at uh, long last. We get a silly offer in um, for McCormack from Wigan. There's no way at all I am going to sell him. So I make an, a, a really, really high counter offer that there's no way they, they could afford. So we, man we manage to infuriate Wigan just before we play them. If Wigan's intention was to unsettle McCormack before the game against them, then it clearly worked because they got a big 2-0 win against us in that simulated game at home as well, an absolutely uh, gutting loss against a bitter, bitter Lancashire rival. The transfer deadline day has come about. We have no more money to spend, guys. We've got put. I've put up a couple of guys on short-term loans just to see because I'm not going to be using them to the end of the season. So just see if we can save a bit of money on their salaries. But uh, the window is going to fly past for us, really. You can see on this screen here exactly what we've done. We've got rid of a handful of players. And we've brought in one player who we do believe will be Premiership Standard. Should, fingers crossed, we get that promotion. 
In the previous video, guys, I asked should I do the financial takeover thing to add a little bit of cash to me if I get promoted to the Premier League, should I do that? Because uh, I've been talking to a few people and it's looking quite unrealistic, the amount of money I'm going to get given when I get promoted to the Premier League. If you guys think I should struggle on, and uh, that, that is what the series should be about, you know, managing to succeed despite the lack of funds, then that's fine. Let me know in the comments and I will not do it. But if you guys think it'd be more interesting if I had a more realistic to life transfer budget, if Leeds got to the Premier League this season, they would have at least 25 million to spend on players, in my opinion. Because they're a huge club, they're just a sleeping giant at the moment. So I think it'd be more realistic to use the financial takeover facility to... Uh, to add some funds so I can actually build a premiership team. I think it would be quite fun to see me hiring and firing some world-class talent. But let me know what you think. Totally up to you guys, as always. We're in the FA Cup fourth round against Crystal Palace. Another Premier League opposition for us in the Cup. We were knocked out of the uh, Car uh, Carling Cup, or what's it called now? Capital One Cup by Chelsea. And uh, we went a goal down to Crystal Palace in this game as well but we managed to get one back with our main man Austin cannot tell you how good this guy is and uh, unfortunately after that the game does play out as a draw so I'm gonna have to go to Crystal Palace and get the win hopefully if we want to progress in the FA Cup and uh, that is the end of the video guys thank you very much for watching like comment subscribe bye bye